Champaholics coming back at you with a Sky Pillar Championship League Week 6 Special with way too much athleticism to be contained. As we'll see, Mario and the College Station Good Bull take it to Gert and the Old English Ice Cube. And it's still safe to assume that I am the Stank, CEO of Champaholics. Live from Pound Town, Champaholic Stadium. Let's get right down to it. Gert and the Old English fresh off the press with this Durant. As we'll see Mario commit to this turn one Thundercat lead. Mario, not even looking for any moves, goes right to the locker room. Will we see a, a turn one switch from Mario and the Good Bulls? And it looks like yes. Mario going to go ahead and pull back the Thundercat in favor of this Bronzong. Durant making a good first impression, and that's going to be a lot of damage on this Bronzong. Able to shake it just over half health with the leftovers. Mario going to opt to set some rocks for College Station, but it looks like Gert and Old English have other plans as a crunch fires down on College Station's side of the field. That's going to be a lot of damage. Bronzong not able to hold on. It will go down to this Durant. Going to be sent back to College Station's locker room. As we'll see Mario commit to this Gardevoir. We'll see it hit the field. Gardevoir with the thin paper. Going to be tracing that hustle from the Durant. And it looks like Mario's going to, yes, commits to this Mystical Fire. As we'll see Gert pull back the Durant in favor of this Cinderace. Cinderace does hit the field. Mystical Fire does come down on the Cinderace. That's not going to be a lot of damage. Special Attack will fall for the Cinderace. Not really going to have any big impacts. As we'll see, Mario decides to pull back the Gardevoir in favor of this Dracovish. Old English does decide to fire off the U-turn. We will see Cinderace go back to Old English's locker room. As we will see the Milo tick hit the field now. Flame Orb gonna be procking. And it looks like Mario and the Good Bulls are gonna opt to go for this substitute. Down in front, Toxic from the Milo tick, no dice. Burn gonna be chipping this Milo tick as Mario and the Good Bulls do lock into this Whirlpool. And that's going to be a big miss. The Scald from Old English activating the Water Absorb on the Dracovish going to be able to bring some of its health back up. Interesting to not see the Sand Set on this Dracovish. As we do see Old English pull back the Milotic, Wimpsicott does hit the field now. Dracovish does throw down the Whirlpool. The Wimpsicott will be trapped. But good thing the Wimpsicott did bring a snack of its own, able to shake off the damage. Whirlpool going to be chipping on the Wimpsicott. Mario hovering over, and it looks like Wimpsicott fires off the Cotton Guard. Not going to matter. This Super Fang is still going to go through and take half of the health here. Wimpsicott able to bring some of the health back up from its leftovers. Whirlpool does take some damage. As it looks like the player model in the background having a Gert moment. Whimsicott does fire off this Moon Blast. Is the dummy going to hold up? No. The dummy does fall. Another miss here on the Super Fang for this Dracovish. That's going to be tragic. Whimsicott with the leftovers, but taking some damage from the Whirlpool. It looks like Mario and the Bulls looking to make a switch here. Hovering over the Mandibuzzy. Yes. 
does decide to pull back the Dracovish in favor of this Mandibuzz. We will see Mandibuzz make its debut for College Station here. As Whimsicott does fire off the Leech Seed, that's going to be no dice on the Prankster. Able to bring a little bit of its health back up with the leftovers. Mario looks like he's not willing to stick around. Immediately locks into the U-turn as we will see a substitute come up on the old English side of the field. The U-turn does connect onto the substitute. Not enough to bring it down. As it looks like Mario's hovering over. Decides to go back into the Gardevoir. Tracing the prankster off of this Whimsicott. Whimsicott able to bring some of the health back up as it looks like Mario and the Good Bulls are going to commit to this mystical fire. Green Thumb Gert able to plant the Seed of Destruction into this Gardevoir. As we will see the Gardevoir seeded now does fire off onto the substitute substitute not able to hold on whipscott bringing a little bit of the health back up from the leftovers but still in the red does get the allowance from the leech seed able to bring it back up into the yellow mario locks in but Gert and the Old English Ice Q pulling out the Whimsicott back into this Cinderace. And we've seen this turn before. Not a lot of damage on the Cinderace from the Mystical Fire, but the special attack will drop. Green Thumb Gert still getting some profit off the Leech Seed from this Gardevoir. Cinderace will have an opportunity to recover some health as it looks like Mario decides to make the switch. Yes, pulls the Gardevoir out in favor of the Dracovish. We will see it hit the field once again as Cinderace once again does fire off the U-turn. This is going to be another third on this Dracovish. Yes, does pull the Dracovish down into the yellow. Cinderace back to Old English's locker room as Whimsicott does come back out for the Ice Cues. Leftovers able to bring some health back on this Whimsicott. Mario not looking to stick around, decides to pull the Dracovish, yes, in favor of this Mandibuzz. We will see the Mandibuzz hit the field, but switching into this Moonblast, a decent amount of damage on this Mandibuzz. As the Leftovers does restore a grip of health, Mario hovering over the U-turn once again, yes. But it looks like Whimsicott puts the sub back up. As Mario fires off the U-turn down on Old English's side of the field, not enough to take the sub down. Back to College Station's locker room, yes. And it looks like Mario decides to bring back the Gardevoir. We will see the Gardevoir hit the field again. Tracing the prankster from this Whimsicott. Leftovers, yes. Mario and the Good Bulls looking to make the switch. And it looks like, yes, Mario does pull the Gardevoir back into the Manda Buzz. Gert fires off another Leech Seed, and that's going to be no good. Mario looks like he wants to, yes, pulls the Roost out. But not before Gert fires off another Moon Blast. Decent amount of damage on the Buzz. But the Buzz able to get the Roost off, restoring a substantial amount of health on this Manda Buzz. Whimsicott slowly able to catch up on this Leftovers, getting a lot of mileage. 
Mario and the Good Bull is going to lock in a U-turn as the Whimsicott does get off a Cotton Guard once again. And that's going to be plus three. Hard to imagine this U-turn will even scratch the substitute. U-turn fires off. Back to College Station's locker room. The sub is still standing. And it looks like Mario committing to this Gardevoir once again. We will see Gardevoir come back out on College Station's side of the field. Traces the prankster. Leftovers. Absolutely. Whimsicott starting to show some signs of life again. Is it? Yes. We will see the lock in into the Mystical Fire from College Station as Gert and the Ice Cube fire off yet another Leech Seed onto this Gardevoir. Mystical Fire does connect. And that's going to be enough to bring down the substitute from Old English. Leftovers able to restore some of the health. Gert moment. Gert does get his allowance from the Leech Seed. Whimsicott back up into the green. And it looks like Whimsicott, yes, Gert and the Old English Ice Cube decide to put out another substitute. Mario fires off another Mystical Fire. That's going to be more than enough. The sub does go down. Gert now in a non-sustainable position. Leftovers and the lead seed not going to be enough to spend on these substitutes. Getting very expensive and it looks like Mario decides to go back to the locker room. Yes, and he's thumbing around. He does decide to pick the Mandibuzz. We will see Gardevoir leave the field. Mandibuzz does come out. Gert going to be paying some life, hiring another substitute. And Mario and the Good Bulls going to be locking into this Brave Bird. But not before the Whimsicott does fire off yet another Moon Blast, able to take the Mandibuzz just under half health. And it looks like, yes, College Station and the Good Bulls do fire off the Brave Bird. It does connect. Is it going to be enough? Damaged by the recoil. Leftovers. And it looks like, no, not enough to take down the substitute. Mario hovers over, yes, and does opt to go for the Roost as we will see Whimsicott. Fire off yet another Moon Blast. Takes the Mana Buzz down to the red. This could be trouble for Mario. The Roost does go off, able to bring it back from the red. Back into the green. Whimsicott with the leftovers still in this. Mario hovers over the Brave Bird, but no. Decides to lock in to the Roost as we will see Gert make a move of his own. Pulls out the Whimsicott. We will see the Terrakion hit the field now. Roost does go off, able to bring this bird back up to full health. Mario not looking to stick around. Decides to lock into the U-turn. And it looks like Terrakion going to put up a substitute of its own. You would think all of your teachers called in sick today with the amount of substitutes we have seen in this game as Terrakion goes down in front to this substitute. And Mandibuzz does fire off the U-turn, not able to bring down the sub as we will see Gardevoir from the College Station Good Bull come back out from the locker room to the field. Able to trace the Justified off the Terrakion. Mario hovers over the Psychic. But May opts to do the Moon Blast. And yes, locks into the Moon Blast. Scarf going to outspeed the Terrakion. Puts the Moon Blast down into the Substitute. Substitute fades. What does the Terrakion have in store? Able to get the Stone Edge off, and it does connect, and that will be enough. As we will see Gardevoir fall to the Old English Ice Cube in this Week 6 matchup. 
Mario, back to College Station's locker room. Mario hovers over the Thundercat, and it looks like, yes, Mario does opt to bring the Thundercat out into this Terrakion. Hovers over the close combat, locks in. Gert not looking to take any of that, pulls the Terrakion out. We will see the Sand Slash come out from Old English's locker room. The close combat does connect, not a lot of damage, and we will see the special and the defense drop from the Thundercat, as it looks like Mario not looking to stick in after that either, decides to pull the Thundercat out back in favor of this Mandibuzz. Sand Slash able to land a Toxic of its own down onto this Mandibuzz, setting the ticking time bomb for this Mandibuzz. Poison now taking its chip. How will Mario answer back? And it looks like Gert is going to pull the Sand Slash out. We will see the Durant come back out from Old English's locker room as the Mandibuzz does connect with this U-turn. We will see him leave the field now with some poison. Hovering over the Zydog, but no. Mario decides to go with the Thundercat. Yes, goes with the Thundercat. We will see the Thundercat hit the field once again. We have to know that this Durant does have the first impression. Mario decides to switch out the Thundercat in favor of this Dracovish. Going to be switching into this first impression, and the first impression does connect on this Dracovish. We will see the Dracovish go down as Old English picks up yet another KO in this matchup. Mario able to shake the first impression at the cost of his Dracovist. Zydog does hit the field now, as we will see him lock into the Thousand Arrows. Thousand Arrows does connect on the Durant, but it's not gonna be enough as Durant fires back with an iron head of its own. And oh my God, a ton of damage. We will see the Zydog fall to the one hit KO iron head from the Durant. Old English picks up yet another KO as Mario and the Good Bulls opt to put in the Thundercat, locking into this knockoff. We will see Bill and the Old English Ice Cube make a switch of their own, decides to pull the Durant out in favor of this Sand Slash. The knockoff does fire off from College Station side of the field, able to knock off the Rindleberry from the Sand Slash. Gert and the Ice Cube pulling out the Sand Slash in favor of this Teraki on the Taunt will land on the Terrakion from this Thundercat. It looks like Gert will withdraw the Terrakion. We will see Cinder Ace come back out from Old English's locker room into this close combat. A decent amount of damage, but it won't be enough as we will see the defense drop from the Thundercat. Mario back to the locker room looks to make the switch and yes decides to pull the thundercat back to college station's locker room in favor of this manda buzz we will see the cinder ace lock into the pyro ball fires downfield able to take a significant chunk out of this manda buzz as the poison does add to the chip Mario hovers over the U-turn, but will he try to go for a roost? Mario and the Good Bulls seemingly indecisive as, yes, they lock into the Brave Bird, but not fast enough. It looks like Gert and the Ice Cube will fire off another Pyro Ball, and that's going to be enough. Manda Buzz making its debut for College Station does go down to the double Pyro Ball as College Station has no choice. Thundercat does hit the field once again. Locks into the knockoff, but Gert 
has other plans as he pulls the Cinderace back to Old English's locker room in favor of the Sandslash. Sandslash with no item, able to shake most of the damage from this knockoff. Thundercat locking into a knockoff again, and that's not going to be enough. Sandslash with the Earthquake. Sandslash with the Stab Earthquake, but it looks like it's not going to be enough damage as Mario and the Good Bulls decide to retaliate with the close combat, getting the defense drop, but able to take down this Sandslash. And it looks like Durant comes back out from Old English. They're going to have priority on this first impression. And this could be it for Mario and the Good Bulls as the Durant fires off the first impression. But no, a miss from Old English. Not able to connect on the first impression. Thundercat retaliates with the Plasma Fist. And that's going to be enough to take down the Durant. Mario and the Good Bulls not willing to let this go. Fighting back as hard as he can. As we will see the Whimsicott come back out and another miss on the seed. As the Plasma Fists connect on the Whimsicott, not a ton of damage here. Leftovers able to bring the Whimsicott's health back up. As it looks like Mario does opt to just lock in another Plasma Fist. We will see the Whimsicott with the Cotton Guard going plus three to the defense here. Hard to imagine the Plasma Fist will be enough to break down the wall and it will not be. Whimsicott down into the red, but able to shake off the damage from the leftovers as well as being plus three to the defense. Mario, at a loss, decides to lock in the taunt. As we will see, Green Thumb Gert land another Leech Seed on this Thundercat. Thundercat does fire off the taunt, but just one priority stage too late. The damage has been done. The seed has been planted, and that's going to take down the rest of the health from the Thundercat. As we will see, Gert and the Old English Ice Q go into their week seven match as one of two undefeated teams still in the Sky Pillar Championship. And that's gonna be it. Join us next week, Champaholics.